Hi guys, just been doing a little project where I've been working on these little clocks, um, making them solar powered. And what I wanted to do was charge up a battery using the solar panel and then run the clock off the battery. Now, because I want to be able to work on things, I got the battery out here in a separate container. But it did occur to me it would be nice if I could make a dummy battery to fit in the back of here to make the connections easier. Because I've had to twist the wires around the tags because they must be stainless steel or something. They won't take solder. I can't solder directly to them. So I thought, why don't I try and make a dummy battery? So I've taken a battery apart normal double a battery this particular type has a little metal cap to go on both ends i think it's an aluminium case it's certainly not steel it's quite soft but the end cases are um well they're magnetic not magnetic they are ferrous in other words i can pick them up with a magnet which is quite convenient for some other projects that I do. But in this case, I just thought that would be handy because I can probably solder to them. So I've 3D printed a dummy battery with a hole in the middle. It comes out at either end. So I should be able to put a connector, one of my JST connectors in there with the wire going to the bottom and the top solder it onto those caps and glue them in place. So I've then got a battery that I can fit straight into one of these single battery holders and run it off an external battery easily without having to worry about connecting onto the tags. hope that makes sense. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I shall Get one of my JST connectors, push the wires through first, then solder them onto there, then pull the wires back in place and glue those on the end, hopefully. I've already checked these take solder, so we're okay there. Get them the right way round. Trim the end of that. To try it in something now. now. Before I move on, the idea is to make some of these that are straight through, um, just connected in end to end with a piece of wire straight through the middle to use this um, dummy one so we can put power on one of them and then to fill up the rest of the battery box. The others are all dummies but connecting straight through so we could put say a 2s lipo battery attached to this one and i've just realized 
I've just realised I put the wrong... I should have put a female on there, not a male. Oh, how silly. <laughs> oh, well, we'll find out if we can get them off again now. How silly. I was thinking this was the battery to plug into something, but it's the other way around. We want to plug a battery into here, so that connects to the... Oh, rude words. Start again, Grandad. Just in case you've no idea what I'm talking about. That's what I should have soldered in place. The female end. So we can plug an external battery. Just make sure they're not making contact into there. And then that goes into the car or the clock or whatever it is we're trying to run from it. All right, I've got to warm up the soldering on again. Right, corrected my basic mistake, put the right connector on there now. So for demonstration purposes, we'll use this clock, take the battery out of it, if I can get it out, yeah. and put this one in, okay. So we're not running, and then just for demonstration purposes, put that one in there, and connect that up to there, and off we go again. I know it looks over complicated like that, but that isn't the, the exact purpose I had in mind for it. It's so I can connect anything I like to there without having to worry about being able to solder into the tags. Those tags there, because they wouldn't take solder. They must be, say, stainless steel or something. Where's that? We'll go in there nicely, and away we go. And if I really wanted to, I could stick a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery into there, which I don't want to do because we'll probably kill it. But anything that I can put one of those connectors on, like a solar panel, for instance. We could then just plug straight in. But I will go ahead and make some straight through ones so that if you've got a, a four or five way battery pack like this, you could fill the other four up with dummy ones and just put your battery in the end one. In this case, I've just soldered it onto the end two. But normally that would be one there and one there, and you'd have five. AA batteries, seven and a half volts. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. After correcting my basic mistake. Eve, so people are playing with fireworks. So yeah, I could connect those two to a solar panel or something like that and run the, that off the solar panel.
Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.